show me everything. 255 here. What up? What up? Today we're looking at this Enchantress video. Check her out. Another puppet style character. Those are those are cool. If you have the uh, intelligence to use them. Not sure how much of the puppets being used in this one besides this super. I'm talking around, so I'll, I'll, I'll slow down the clips a bit. And let's see how she's going to use it attack wise. Let's see, the puppet's running around following her. She uses a broom as her main form of attack. And all these characters in this. Oh, okay, there we go. Wow. Yes, yeah, so it looked like the puppet did like two strikes inside fire. There's the broom combo. That's probably her light, medium, heavy. Oh, and she has a really long whip. Yeah, everybody in this game needs projectiles. She has multiple projectiles, but you need them in this game. I know I say this to everyone, but if they made this into a tag game, I mean, my goodness, if they added a tag mechanic, this game, I'm not going to say it could compete with Dragon Ball Fighters, but man, they have all of these characters are interesting. They're all cool as heck. The Enchantress is no difference. All right, we're going to slow it down a little bit more here. All right, let's see if we can get a better look now. One strike. That's probably her hit combo for into a super. Oh, okay. It's another move it has. It has like this giant dragon punch where it explodes more. She has a purple projectile. Okay, that looks. she has a bunch. So there was that little black wire that went across the floor. I don't know if you saw that. I'm not sure if that's a super EX move or a regular, but she certainly can do the projectile game, right? And that's important. Uh, and these supers, of course, are just... I mean, this game... I would be shocked if this game was not the hidden gem of the FGC and that maybe a lot of players who are now making Guilty Gear content and a lot of players who are making Dragon Ball Fighters content or playing Dragon Ball Fighters. I can easily see him be sucked up into this game. I think even Yipe said this is the funnest game he's played in a while. All right, slowing this down more to see if we can get a better look at this now. Okay, yeah. So that's one of the moves he has, kind of this, and that could probably be used as a um, defense too, right? Where the bear pops up big like that, that could probably be used as, a, as some form of defense or something. Okay, it's a combo. Let's see here. She got that black wire again. Followed by the other one. That's definitely either a super or a EX move. One or the other. Oh, she has a, an additional pup I didn't notice. Okay, so there was that little black puppet that jumped on. That's probably a command throw. Let's see here. Then you have her super again. Okay, so we're going to slow this down even more. I imagine balancing this game is going to be like wild as... This is gonna be wild trying to balance this game. All right, so that's probably her light, medium, hard, right? Then we have, that's either a special or a command normal, but it's two hitting. That's probably a special move follow up. But all these characters have at least four or five or six hit combos. That's That can be used as a defensive option. That could probably be used to trap somebody. It's gonna depend on the frame data. And it looked like she could use her whip while that bear was punching, punching, and then spitting out fire. Yeah. And in a tag versus mold, that could be like it, just so much broken stuff you can do. Balancing this would be crazy. Is that light, medium, hard again? Okay, and that time she goes to that branch or whip, whatever it is. And that can be followed up with another super move. And I don't, I don't think that that whip's the only one that can be followed up. She could probably send the bear after. So depending on her recovery data, there's that black bear again. Um, that could be a problem. But I could see her fighting launcher and going for like the, the projectile wards are going to be crazy in this game. Anyway, I can probably keep going on and on. I'm going to stop there. This is uh, DeepMind255. Thanks for always being part of the DeepMind family. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I leave your comments below. What do you think? This character is going to be like 255 out one.